Macford yeah. is a determined man, a father of six living on a township yeah. in Zambia's Copper Belt. He spent the last five years building the house of his dreams out of mud. I call it my, my mud house. Uh, why I call it my mud house? Because it's made of earth, raw earth. Macford has painstakingly made 10,000 bricks by hand using the soil at the bottom of his garden. Combe. He mixes the earth with a small Combe. amount of sand and cement and puts it into a compression machine. A few minutes later, out comes a block. The bricks need to bake in the sun for a further two months before they can be used. Oops. It's been a long and arduous Oops. process. Not only has it taken long, we had to first ridicule from the people for taking this long. Why didn't we just make a shortcut and build a house using the ordinary stuff the people, other people are using? So we had to bear up with the ridicule and, uh, and scorn. So it wasn't easy, but somehow we, we put up with it. Until now, Macford and his family have lived in a windowless two-roomed shack with no running water or electricity. Not only is it small because We've been experiencing uh, sickness because we were so cramped together. Yet many Zambians live in houses like this, in townships on the outskirts of cities like Lusaka and Kitwe. Like Macford, most people living there survive on less than $2 a day. Macford knows he was lucky. He was given this brick compression machine by a British aid worker. But he believes others can learn from his experience. If we all remain building our houses using this, then we're not developing. So if I can bring in an idea like this and people are happy with the, with the outcome, well, it, it, it will add value to our life. Macford's now putting the finishing touches to his mansion, installing electricity and water. His vision is to open a training centre here to teach others how to build better houses for themselves.